Well, a lot of people talk about getting kids into the outdoors, but I recently ran across a dedicated angler who is doing more than his fair share to get kids into fishing. It is always great to see young kids fishing, and we know that that is the future of our great outdoor traditions here in Michigan. And that is why I was here today to see first-timers with a hook and line. Well, we've got uh, about 25 second graders out right now, part of our uh, all-school fish here at the Meridian Historical Village. I've got about 375 total students that'll be here from the last two days and today. So, and this is so these are all public school kids. Yes, they're all public schools from uh, school kids from uh, Hazlitt and go all attend Raleigh Elementary. Last winter, I applied for a grant through the Future Fisherman Foundation, and uh, I received that grant last spring and was able to purchase rods, reels, pretty much anything under the sun to uh, get these students to learn about fishing and uh, be able to take them all fishing here uh, like we're doing right now. Well, it's slip bobber, okay? And as you cast it out and it goes down, your, your uh, weight goes down in the water, that float, that goes all the way up, and then when it hits that little neon knot in the line, it's gonna stop. That's called the bobber stop, okay? So you'll have about, what's that, about a foot and a half of line hanging down under your bobber for that fish to go get. It was pretty impressive to me that this elementary gym teacher was taking on this kind of a project. To me, it would seem pretty daunting to make this happen, but Steve said it's just too important to sit back and do nothing. My purpose for getting them out fishing is just to get them outdoors and enjoying the great outdoors. And you know, too many of our youth today get stuck on the couch playing their video games, watching TV, and playing the computer. And you know, no one, they just don't spend as much time as you know they should be out outdoors. So this gives them, hopefully, some interest into into the sport of fishing and gets their family involved. So it's something that they can all do together as a family. Hard to say it any better than that. We all have to do our part to pass on our outdoor traditions, and how great that these public school kids are getting exposed to what fishing and good conservation is all about. Kids would come and go by the bus load for three days, and close to 400 were put through this program. And with the help of some other fishing-related groups, hopefully this isn't just a one-time event. Part of this grand learning network, and I coordinate Project Fish, and uh, we've been working with the schools, the Hazlitt schools, quite a bit, uh, the middle school and the two elementary schools, Murphy and Ralia, on uh, getting them fishing, so fishing could be in their curriculum. And uh, it's been great. They, they're, they're doing all kinds of stuff. Salmon, we're raising salmon, salmon in the classroom. The middle school and at Ralia, and we had a couple of teachers at uh, Murphy just uh, apply for another grant to do salmon in the classroom in their school. And then this is a big part of the Fish Ed Initiative. So uh, they're actually teaching them how to fish for those salmon later on. And they're doing some conservation things. It's great. It's been really fun to do this. Everyone here today was having fun. The kids, the adults, it's hard not to have fun when you're outside with your buddies around a fishing hole. Catch that? Yeah. How did, how did you catch it? I just stuck it in the water. Yeah? Did he fight good? Yeah. Yeah, he fight real good. Special thanks to all the parents that helped out today and to Project Fish, but most of all to one special gym teacher. Steve Bladdard showed all of us what one concerned sportsman can do. Let's hope his hard work inspires all of us to do more to promote the outdoor lifestyle we all hold so dear.